My bio starts out with the phrase, I'm a devoted wife and mother. You have been allowed, as I have, to build your own business. Mm -hmm. Work in the public eye, all the while with the support of your husband and your children. Yes. Yeah. It is becoming more prevalent today, right? Would yeah. you say? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Exactly. How do you uh, rationalize the phrase, first in the way that your family supports you, then in the way that you support them? People have often asked me about, you know, my family and about balance and having this job, you know, start or whether I'm starting a company or the job I have now or, um, and then three kids and a husband. How do you balance all that? And I say to them quite candidly, I don't. I don't balance it. And I remember once my daughter having to do the school interview and she said, she asked me the question, Mommy, you know, how do you create a work-life balance? Right. And I, I like to be authentic and, yes. you know, so I say to her, I said to her, honey, when you, when you balance something, how much do you give each thing? She said, well, 50, 50, right. 50, 50% each. And I said, that's correct. So if I were to balance my work and life, I'd be giving them each 50%. So we've put systems in place. Right. My husband has resigned. He's doing uh, from he was the vice president academic at a at a private college. He resigned, and uh, he's work. He's completing his doctorate now, and he's at home. Right. He consults from home. He does educational consulting from home. And I said we put systems in place such that when I'm at work, I give work a hundred percent. Yes. And I don't have to think about you because daddy's here. Yeah. Uh, you know, you have your chart with all your chores. You have yes. all the things that you need to do to make sure that Remember everything is in, running yeah. smoothly. Yes. And then so what I do now is then when I get home, I shift. Wow. So work gets zero. Yes. Right. And then you get 100%. 100%. 100%. So I said, exactly. there's no, there's no work-life balance. Exactly. Otherwise, I'm unfair to my clients and... And well, if at my job, my clients yes. or my constituents, yes, are unfair to you. So, so I you make it work. I make it work. That's yeah, good. I yeah. make it work. And I think you know that's the same thing that I do. Yeah, yeah it's it's hectic, but you make it work. It's really tough for women, um, and I'm not saying that it's not equally tough for men, but for us, we think of, okay, that you know, I think of Johnny who's seven. I think of Candace who's mm -hmm. eleven. I think of Desiree who's sixteen. I think of them individually, what they need today, exactly. and over the next All four years. All their needs are different, yeah. Right? So I'm thinking over the next four years, if you have a husband, what is he now and over the next four wow. years, and how we're going to adjust? And me, should I, do I want to miss some stuff? Because I'm in Ottawa more than I'm in Whitby. Right. So do I, I'm going to miss some stuff. Am I okay with missing that stuff? What is going to happen with John? And... All of these things are going through my head. It is a lot. What is the next four years? Okay, he's seven, now he's going to be 11. When he's a, what could happen if he's 11? Desiree's going to be going off to university. Okay, that's the final <laughs> And Candace is going to do that. And then all these things are going through, and then I go, oh, yeah, I guess I could still do it. It works. You take it just yeah. like one day at a time. And, <laughs> one you know, day at a time. Rise, the Rolling Stone important. gathers no doubt. Exactly. I just keep going. I'm in constant communication. And yeah. It can get done. And we live in a tech, in a, technologically yeah, savvy world where I could I could communicate Skyping. Skype and FaceTime yes. I could be in instant communication with them and I'm very privileged that I live three and a half hours away from Ottawa I'm not going to the Northwest Territories right. or anything like that worse, right? but yeah so. so so you'd see me at the, in, on the hill on Fridays I cover a lot of house duties for people because I I feel like if I feel that way, could yeah. you imagine having to travel, you know, 18 hours to drive home or to get yeah, home? It's too tiring, like yes. Yeah, so, so I, I, take, I take some shifts for people so that they could get, go home and uh, I know that I have a short distance away well, from That's very family. nice. That's yeah. great. Well, thank you very much for your time. Oh my goodness, thank it's been you a great, so great much. great interview. We appreciate it. On behalf of SMJ Magazine, we thank you. Oh, thank you.